This week's games are a total throwback. It's the return of 90s platformers, 16-bit RPGs, and virtual reality, which I guess is actually still a thing, sort of. Anyway, if you like that stuff, make sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all the hottest trends. Now let's take a look at the sizzling games coming this week. I'll be honest with you guys, Banjo-Tooie is my favorite game of all time, so Ukulele being its spiritual successor has me very excited. In case you live under a googly-eyed rock, here's the pitch. It's from X-Rare developers. Cool. It stars a talking chameleon and a bat. Cool. And it has colorful levels like a jungle and a casino and a big frozen mountain. Literally cool. Along the way, you'll collect tons of items, fight bosses, and learn new powers. Ukulele leaps onto PS4, Xbox One, and PC on Tuesday, April 11th, with a Nintendo Switch version in the works for later this year. If you want to learn more right now, head over to GameSpot for our full review. It's time to dust off that PlayStation VR headset for Star Blood Arena. In the future, people like to watch pilots fight each other in spaceships. Star Blood Arena puts you in the cockpit as one of those pilots, where you can fly nine different ships and rain down all sorts of bullets and lasers and missiles. You can do that in a variety of modes, including single player and co-op challenges, a sports mode, and of course, online free-for-all multiplayer. Star Blood Arena takes off on April 11th. Let's return to Earth with the Sexy Brutal. Now I know what you're thinking, what is the Sexy Brutal? Well, it's a fancy mansion turned into a casino, where a bunch of people are about to die. You play as the old priest Lafcadio Boone, and your goal is to prevent all those tragic deaths. Cue the Groundhog Day scenario where Lafcadio relives the same day again and again, trying his best to prevent each death as he learns why the casino guests are dropping like flies. He's basically Phil Connors, but like solving murders. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. You can start on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on the 11th. Okay, let's go back to space. Cosmic Star Heroine is inspired by the likes of Chrono Trigger and Fantasy Star, and it looks just like those Super Nintendo classics. You take control of Agent Alyssa LaSalle, who's just been outed by her galactic agency, which gets the attention of all her adoring fans and all the bad guys she's ever fought. And speaking of fights, they all happen right there on the map, with classic turn-based combat that lets you stack party attacks for big, heavy-hitting combos. You can start your adventure on PS4, Vita, and PC on the 11th. And now we're coming back down to Earth, again. This time, it's to zen out with Stardew Valley Collector's Edition. If you missed this indie spin on the classic Harvest Moon formula last year, here's a new chance to grow crops, go fishing, explore caves, raise a family, and so much more. The Collector's Edition is the first time the game will be available physically, and it includes a mini guidebook, fold-out map of the game world, and a copy of the game's killer soundtrack. You can grab it on Xbox One or PS4 on the 11th. And those are the hottest games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back with more games next week.